Welcome to week 8 of my Sub 230 Chicago Marathon training series. So first run of Monday done. It was so dark and so quiet at that time in the morning when I started. Uh, any sane person was still fast asleep. <laughs> so it's that I didn't bring the camera with me and you know didn't want to you know wake the whole town up. So <laughs> but yeah that was um First easy mile of the day done, just 8 minute mile pace, something like that, 8 miles. So big week ahead. Um, each week with the, with the training block is, you know, progressive. One week leads into the next and you have that sort of progression. But, uh, you know, these next three weeks are really critical if I'm going to have any chance of, of achieving my goals. Um, the weekend workouts, the long runs in particular are so important so fingers crossed and here's hoping we can we can have uh three really good weekend workouts you know I've, I've shared everything in the block so far the runs that haven't went well at all and i've had a couple of really bad ones but now you know this is really crucial i need i need these three weeks to go well i can't be having the weather slowing me down or hills or you know Anything stopping my momentum. I need to hit my splits. So we'll see how we get on. Really need to get myself mentally prepared here to try to get a big, a big tick for these for these weeks. So, but checking later on. Hope been well later on. Another easy run on the treadmill. So see you then. Check in for Monday evenings. Easy run, it's another four miles on the treadmill. Thankfully I think the this morning's run definitely really benefited us. I don't think the legs are feeling just as bad this evening. This morning so heavy this morning. Really felt that session in the legs, so on a good day trying to get this, trying to get that session out the legs. Looking forward to another easy day tomorrow as well. Looking forward fresh for a big session on Wednesday. So nice and easy. Eight minutes, a mile pace, four miles. Really like to be feeling more fresh. And this just really flushing there, active and stuff like the legs. And a very good morning. This is Tuesday's early morning run. And just to order, in order to fit the run in, get the miles in around the girls, I'm having to get up right at the crack of dawn again. Oh, I'm tired. But it has to be done. And I want a big green tick. You know, to get the miles in at the, the end of this day and the rest of the week, so. I can't complain, just have to get up and get on with it. So here we are, just 8 mile easy jog. Well we have been treated to a really beautiful sunrise. So has it been worth it? Getting up at this time in the morning? Nope, not one bit. <laughs> My bed was way better, <laughs> way more comfier, but we're getting it done. Finishing Tuesday off with our standard four miles easy on the treadmill. As per normal, eight minutes per mile pace. Just to make 12 miles for the day. Very good morning everyone, we're here. Absolutely beautiful morning. Last ah, Wednesday, it's time for our first session of the week, and today we have a hybrid workout where we're doing a wee bit of marathon pace stuff followed by some faster stuff. So uh, we're starting with uh, three miles uh, marathon goal pace, and then a one mile jog recovery, and then six by 800 meters with descending 
amount of rest so we're starting off the first rep with 60 seconds rest and then 10 seconds less after each rep so the last rep is about 20 seconds rest and uh, the pace of those 800s will be around about 10k effort or so and then after that three minutes recovery and then we're finishing off the workout with well actually it's a, another three miles just so ever so slightly the faster than marathon pace we're five seconds faster we 530 and then we're finishing the workout after that with eight times 30 seconds on 30 seconds off that's very max all out effort and this run we're actually going to be testing out our latest racing shoes that we've purchased so I'll not talk about them just yet seeing how the alpha flies turned out into a right disaster for me uh, so we'll test these out and then I'll talk more about them at the end of the video good or bad I'll share my feedback but we'll see how we get on first before I talk about them at all <coughs> uh, so they came during the week there I'm going to test these out today see how they go I'm excited for that so fingers crossed the second time lucky and uh, these will be the shoes that we'll be wearing in Chicago the workout so the new marathon racing shoe test happy to report was a resounding success and those shoes are the these the Saucony Endorphin Elites uh, wow they were that was a fun fun run really enjoyed these uh, the one thing I was worried about with this shoe when I read and watched a lot of reviews was that there was meant to be quite quite wide fitting shoes and I do have you know there's there's nothing to me like you know and, and I do have uh, narrow feet but I had no problems getting a good lockdown with these. I used the extra you know lace hole at the at the end there, the actual loop to get a good solid uh, lockdown and I just felt that these shoes where the propulsion was absolutely fantastic. I felt like the shoes were always 10 seconds ahead or wanted to be 10 seconds ahead of the pace that I was running. So when I was running 535s, the shoes were always sending me, come on, no, let's go to 525s. And I was always having to keep my pace in check, you know, so not to go too fast. 
you know, so really, really strong propulsion, you know, awesome, really, really pleased with these. So, barring any disasters, I will be running in Chicago with, with these shoes. I will be testing them out one more time for a 15 mile uh, marathon simulation long run. And unless I get any rubbing or any, any disasters, I'll be in Chicago with these. And I don't think there will be because that was real resounding success. They were they were fabulous to run in. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, and plus, you know, I'm starting to run out of time in order to test any other shoes out. So, I mean, at the start of the week, you know, we're, we're less than five weeks there now to Chicago. So to order any new shoes and test out, you know, would be really pushing it. So I really don't think so. I, I'm pretty sure we'll be at, in Chicago with these. Fantastic shoe. <laughs> Crazy expensive shoe, but... The propulsion, the energy return, um, plus, uh, like I said, with the wide fitting, uh, one good thing about that was no problem to get on. Uh, you know, like that's the Alpha Fly and the Vapor Flies. You know, they're they're blooming hard to get on. You're really having to pull the shoe on, like the living daylights of the shoe to get them on you. So let's just fit it really nice, really snug, really comfy. Uh, secure lockdown, like I said, great propulsion, great energy return. So first run, and I am very impressed with the Saucony Endorphin Elites. And for today's recovery day, we are at the Molossum Playing Fields. And this is a place where I absolutely love to come and run around. It is hard to beat on a beautiful sunny day like this. Look at it, it is gorgeous around here. Great place to run. I haven't been here at all in ages though. Summer was so so bad, I've just done enough for rain constantly for about 50 other days straight that I haven't been here at all. So it's nice to come here today on a sunny day for a few easy miles. Lovely. Something different just to mix up again. Before I left the house, I was watching Stephen Scullion's latest. YouTube video he posted and oh it was brilliant I tried to post a link on it in the description there for you to check out if you haven't already done so I highly recommend you give it a watch uh, it was all about uh, just the hard work that you need to do to run well uh, and that you know he was doing a lot of fancy stuff like checking blood lactate levels and all the rest of it but to summarise, it's that you can do all these fancy things, but at the end of the day, there's no secret sauce for success. It is nothing but sheer hard work at times. And that's what you need to do. That's what you need to put in. He went on to say, as you want to achieve something that you haven't achieved before, as you're going to have to work harder than you've ever worked before. And it's not just about working hard during the goal race itself. You're going to have to work really hard in training. You're going to have to, you know, be in that deep dark place and get used to suffering in order to, you know, be able to push through that pain barrier on race day itself. I just thought, oh, I love kind of talk like that. It gets me really pumped up when he's. You know. Also said, you know those, those watching on, may see the runs and the workouts that you're doing, and think you're an absolute maniac. He's going to break down. And then when you go on to achieve that on the day, you know he's like, well, you're a genius, and that's just the hard work that it takes to achieve that. And I was like, oh, that's the exact kind of workouts that I want to do. I would love the post workout, but people just think, you are a maniac. Yes, that would be the biggest compliment anyone could pay me as an athlete if they seen some of the runs that I did and thought that. That's the kind of stuff that, and hard work that I want to do. Love it. <laughs> 
So Friday's run and we had decided to come back to Molusk again for today's easy plod. Just while the the weather is mostly good it was last yesterday for a point in the evening but it's nice again uh, this morning so might as well come up here while it's nice and enjoy the scenery really making use of the running on soft ground just because I've got uh, tomorrow's session I've really earmarked as a real key key session so I want to try to get the legs feeling as good as possible because I really feel that I need tomorrow to go well so big day tomorrow I'll share more of that session when it comes to it tomorrow. So just a nice, fair, easy jog around here today. And hopefully, hopefully tomorrow we'll be feeling ready to go. And a very good morning everyone. It is Saturday long run day and this is the real key session that I had earmarked for this week. Really want this one to go well. So foggy start to the day. So today's long run is a 24 mile long run. First two miles warm up which is what I'm doing now and then after that it is 10 miles at 50 seconds slower than marathon pace. So I'm going to try to aim for between 6.25, 6.30 and then after that 10 miles at marathon gold pace so I'm going to aim for 5.35 and then a 2 mile cool down to round it up to 24 miles for the day so this is a huge one guys I really need to get a green light for this one I feel the in order to have any chance of running it's up 2.30 at Finland, Chicago, real important day here. So, oof, it's a daunting one, a scary one this, so let's see, and I'm, I'm doing it all around this, this loop and this development here. It's a one mile loop, so round and round, 24 miles, I'll be, I'll be doing it. And my wife was all like, people living around there are going to think you're an absolute maniac. <laughs> I say like, yes. That's exactly the type of workout I want to do. Perfect. So yes, it's been an absolute maniac today. I get this done. It's a relatively flat loop, so it's all about the pace today. Nothing else. Just want to hit those splits and that is it. So we're checking out, guys. I'll catch up with you after this session. So that's the session finished guys, so I'm on my two mile cool down and I hit all the splits bar two miles. I had a bit of a wobble, miles 19 and 20, or a pace slowed a wee bit. Up not too much, but I think it was one was in the 540s and then I don't need a double check, but maybe 550 was the other one. And then I sort of gathered myself together again and managed to hit the pace for the last two miles so yeah the legs are strong today that was good but what it was it was really testing me mentally more than anything you know when, the, when it really got hard and you're you're having to really dig deep you know that was yeah it was really tough really mentally challenging to sort of just keep going when you really don't want to and and just I was really reminded of that how hard the marathon is and it's that last bit is just such a mental challenge and I'm gonna to have to really focus on that mental strength so a wee bit so well physically aerobically 100% felt great aerobically didn't really feel aerobically challenged all that much to be honest with you strength in the legs was there that's good that's something we've been working on each week and then that sort of third aspect that real mental strength and it was a little bit lacking in that today 
you know, if, the, if I was able just to stay in that pain cave a little bit more, dig deep and just suffer a little bit more, I would have got those two miles, you know, at, at a gold pace. So that was lagging today and I'm really going to have to work on that and get myself mentally prepared for the big day to, because if I have any chance of running sub 2.30, you know, I'm going to have to be mentally stronger than I've ever been before and, you know, when I want to give up and want to, you know, the ground to swallow me up and I'm going to have to just keep, keep going and uh, hopefully, you know, when it comes to the day and you have the crowds watching and you end the group, hopefully I'll pull you along and give that extra little 10% just to keep going when you really don't want to. So hopefully this is a, you know, this will strengthen me mentally doing this kind of workout and I will pay off on the day, but yeah, I'll just remind about how hard it is training for a marathon. That was flipping brutal. You know, just, uh, you just want to give up. <laughs> Honestly, like, it's so hard. That's like one of the hardest things I've ever done on this training block. It's like the hardest thing I've ever done. <sighs> well, that's it for another day. Recovery day tomorrow now. Another two hard weeks left of training. And then we're on the taper after that. So, check all in again tomorrow. So Sunday's recovery run just done. Did six and a half miles easy in the treadmill. There, to round the miles up for the week. Did just just over ninety. So good week in the bank. And we've only got two really hard weeks left of training before we start to taper off. So two huge weeks coming up. And I said that you know uh, this past week and the next two are are really critical. So we've we've passed one of those weeks. So. Happy days, let's see how the, the next two weeks goes. Hope it go, goes good, but that's us finished for another week. Thanks very much for watching everyone. See you again next week.